4.6 billion years ago, our sun ignites. A cloud of dust and gas circles the infant star. Then gravity gets to work, sucking in gas, dust, ice and rocks to form the infant planets. The planets formed out of building blocks, smaller chunks of material, rock, ice, stuff that came together over time. The frenzy of swirling, colliding matter leaves behind debris as rocky rubble in the asteroid belt and ice in the Kuiper belt. Then Neptune and Uranus got in on the act, scattering the debris out further. Most of them got thrown out of the solar system forever, but the ones that didn't go on these big, long, million-year looping orbits, and that's the Oort cloud. Billions of icy rocks were thrown out in all directions until a ball of debris formed around the whole solar system. The Oort cloud comets are dinosaur bones of solar system formation. Contained in them are the ingredients that went up to make our planets. Most of the Oort cloud objects will stay in this icy cloud forever, orbiting the distant sun. But a few get nudged loose, and the sun's gravity pulls them inwards, like moths to a flame. And such a comet can sneak up on you, and you won't even know it's there. These comets can be many miles across, and they're moving extremely rapidly, sometimes as much as 100 miles per second. This makes them pretty dangerous. How dangerous? Ask a dinosaur. Some people think that the massive impact that killed off the dinosaurs may have been caused by a huge Oort cloud comet. They can be every bit as dangerous as the asteroids usually blamed for extinctions on Earth. We'd have little or no warning because we have no idea what is hurling stuff out of the Oort cloud at us.